Okay, we have this 2002 Yamaha G16A AX. Uh, no crank situation. Another one with the wrong battery installed. Not installed correctly, but that's okay. We don't know if we're doing a service on this yet. We gotta wait until we get a which we'll call it from the customer. Uh, battery is 215, so it's two years old, a little more than two years old. So we're gonna check and see what's going on with it. And basically, we take our key, put it in, nothing. We don't even get a solenoid activation. So I'm thinking we might have a bad fuse. I'm gonna check that first and see what happens. Move our stop switch. Ooh, our fuse holder does not want to open here. Trap the fuse in. Yep, we have a blown fuse. Popped. Put a brand new fuse in it. See what happens. But we got to see why it popped. That's the important thing. Okay. There's our issue. Typically when the fuses blow like that, it's a sign that the solenoid is starting to go. Um, typically what that means is the, or the diode at least, the internal diode is starting to fail. Uh, sometimes they will take out the fuse and it's basically a high current surge feedback from the coil discharging. Hmm. There it goes. Okay. It's been a couple of years since they changed the oil. You can see, I mean, it's really dark. But oil color doesn't really tell you much. Once a year. You should always do it at least once a year. Don't be waiting. An oil change is cheaper than an engine rebuild. I have the, uh, the shop fan running because it's hotter than balls in here, so you'll be hearing that in the background. Come on. Start your threader. Metric threads. Fine metric threads can be a pain right in the ass sometimes to get started. Touching, and then I give it a whack, a whack, and a couple light taps just to make sure it's seated. Nothing hard. You don't want to go nuts whacking that thing. You strip that out and you'll be helo coiling. Okay, let's get oil in it.
There we go. Perfect. Okay, this cart's done. Let's get on to the next one.